Welcome back to our software at work ERP next knowledge learning videos today in this video We will be learning as how to set up the GST in ERP next in version 14 So let's see the steps So these are the steps which we need to follow to do the GST setup number first We need to review the chart of accounts for the tax ledger That is a GST ledgers and we need to see that the rate should be entered and zero in the case of input side, that is from the purchase side, that is input CGST, input SGST, and input IGST. Similarly, from the output side or the sales side, that is output SGST, output CGST, and output IGST. It is recommended to create a common ledgers without creating the multiple tax rates. And tax ledgers would already been created in the system by default. You have to just review and see that the tax rate is been defined as zero and under the tax as under the type as a tax share account type as a tax share second we need to review the tax category that is in state and the out state and also we need to fill up the required source state number third we need to see the atom tax template which is also already been created in the system and see that yes the specific rates have been mentioned in the particular rates like gst 5 percent gst 12 percent 18 percent 3 percent and 20 percent so these tax rates would be defined or the rate percentage would be defined in the atom tax template of this different rates here where we need to see that the tax category is entered and the tax rate and the tax amount is also filled up with the zero and we need to update this atom tax template in the GST HSN code or directly at the atom master under the tax section or under the atom group. In short, we need to update this GST rate, GST atom tax template under the uh, atom tax table under the tax section, or we can enter into the GST HSN code or under the atom group. Then we need to follow the GST settings and under the GST settings, we need to update the accounts of input type, output type and the reverse charge under the GST section head. Then we need to review that the company address is been filled up with the applicable GST category selected, GST number in case of registered and along with the other address details also need to be updated. Similarly, we need to see that supplier and our customer masters where, where the address is also been updated with the applicable GST category, GST number, where in case of the registered dealer, and also the address details need to be updated. And yes, you are ready to go for the transaction. So let's now drive directly into the product. Okay, so when you go into the ERP next, you will be navigated into the home section here. Now under the global search, I will type here that is chart of accounts. So the first step, what has been reflected in the presentation, which was number first, that is we need to see that the chart of accounts for the tax ledgers should be a common tax ledgers. And we need to review that the tax rate is zero here. So if I just type here input CGST, which is under the tax asset because since it is an input, which is nothing but our asset from the purchase side. And we need to see that yes, under the each tax ledgers, the rate is defined as zero and under the account type as tax. So same way we need to see that all the uh, GST ledgers like input C, GST, input I, GST and S, GST would be the same. That is under rate should be the zero and under account type as a tax. So this is from the tax asset side. Similarly, from the sales side or from the duties and taxes part, if you see here, we have output tax CGST, SGST or IGST. This also, if we just review it, you can see here, it is under the account type tax and the rate has been defined as zero. So we need to see that every tax ledgers of the GST has been filled with the zero and under the account type as a tax. So this is the first step which we need to follow and it should be recommended that there should be a common ledger and not the rate wise ledger as rate wise ledger is not been supported in ERP next 14 version. Okay, so this is the first step which we need to go. Second step, we need to see here the tax category. So tax category is nothing like we need to define whether that party is within the state or whether that tax rate is within the state. So that is why we created as in state, which has already been created into the default. Just we need to select as a source state. So we need to select as a source state. Let's say that is a Maharashtra. And if it is in state, then nothing to be ticked is interested because this 
tax category is in state that is nothing but the intra state similarly we have another tax category that is out state and now if you see here this is a already a tick mark has been done is interested and we need to select a sole state that is maharashtra that is the state in which our company is been located so we need to fill that tax category so these are also been already created by the system by default we need to just review it and see that yes the proper source code has been selected and the interstate and the intrastate very very applicable that checkbox need to be provided so this is the second step that is a tax category now coming to the third step that is atom tax rate here so atom tax template list we need to go to the atom tax template and you we need to see that this gst 5% has been created by the system by default and you have to review whether all the chart of accounts like this output is gst was bearing a rate of 2.5% 5% similarly 2.5 input output and then rcm is also included yes we need to create a common atom tax template where output and input need to be incorporated together here and this is how the atom tax template template is created and this also atom tax template is already been created by system by default so nothing we need to create uh, separately or we need to create a new one because this is already the system generated and we need to just review whether this uh, atom tax template is bearing a proper rates and uh, Yes, so that would be the atom tax template. Now this atom tax template we need to define either on the three uh, options here. You can go either go to that GST HSN code, go to the GST HSN code, and let's say if you have selected any uh, GST HSN code which is applicable for your atom product, so select that particular atom tax template here. We need to select which is the uh, this HSN code belongs to which atom tax template here. Similarly, if you see here, I have defined here twelve percent. So there is a atom tax template options would be given here, which we need to select here. So only atom tax template is selected under the GST HSN code, and this GST HSN code we update in the atom master. So if you see See here if you go to the atom master we already uh, update this uh, hsn code which is applicable to this particular atom with this hsn code and what with this hsn code if you update the atom tax template automatically under the tax section the rate would get prefilled or in case if you're not been uh, ready with the gst hsn code to update the tax atom tax template then you can directly enter in the atom master so you have a first option that either you can enter in the gst hsn code second you can directly enter in the atom tax template and also we have a third option where you can enter under the atom group section so when you open that atom group section you will be getting an option to enter the atom tax template here so either of the one method you can follow that is either at the hsn code the second is at the what you can say directly at the atom tax section here and the third is at the atom group level so in this way we need to update the atom tax template here then the fourth step which would be there which would be gst setting sections so there is a separate gst settings because as in the version 14 this has been accompanied with the india compliances app so if you see here there should be a india compliances app which should be uh, installed in your system here so you can see here india compliances is a tool and under india compliances tool we have a separate doc type as a gst setting as a single doc type as a gst setting and under that we need to map the account here so you can see in account type input where we need to put cgst sgst igst and from the output you can see cgst section output igst and reverse charge also we can map the same in this gst account now this is required because in the back end when you do the sale transaction or the purchase transaction automatically the gst will be or the gst ledgers will be selected or uh, based on this uh, mapped in the account section here okay similarly now the other step what you need to follow here is you need to see your company addresses is also been properly updated so if you see here when i open your company addresses yes in the company addresses if you see here there would be a proper information where we need to see the addresses are properly filled up the gst is properly filled up gst category has been updated like gst register regular composition unregistered SZ. for import you can use overseas 
for export you can use deemed exports and for un un holders and for tax deductor tax deductor sections right now we are selecting a register regular and yes the gst is also need to be recorded and based on that the gst state and the state number would automatically gets updated even the address details also need to be updated because this will be required for the eway bill and the other uh, GST compliances. So this has also been very important that your company addresses need to be updated with this all tax details. Similarly, if you see whatever the customer and supplier you will be creating, even in that particular address section, you need to see that yes, everything has been updated with the address section, even the state pin code because that would be useful for the eway bill and the gst and register regular register composition and whatever the applicable gst category is applicable that we need to select and the gst number so even for the supply and customer we need to update the address details which contains the gst and category and the gst and number here yes so after updating all these addresses in the customer and the company address, yes, you are ready to go with the transaction. So let me show you one transaction here. So I'm going to the sales invoice here. So if I go to the sales invoice, I can just add sales invoice. Then I will select as a customer here. So let's say this I'm selecting as a customer here. Bharat Serum and Vaccines Limited. Now, when you see a Bharat Serum and Vaccines Limited, the contact is coming under the 27 as a state. It means this company is located in the Maharashtra state, and my company is also located in the Maharashtra state. It means the system should fetch up the CGST and IG, uh, CGST and SGST. So let's say select the atom. So if I'm selecting an atom, let's say digital temperature here. Okay, and let's say one, and let's say I'm just picking on randomly amount of 10,000. Similarly, I'm selecting the second atom code replaceable sensor. And let's say that is if I'm going to select an amount, let's say 20,000 here. So you can see here automatically the system will capture the CGST and IGST. Okay, and the rate would automatically fetch here. So in this way, you can see here the system is fetching the atom text template here, which is based on the rates applicable here. Okay, so in this way, you can see the tax rate would be coming and then I will save this and I will submit this. So in this way, you can see here the tax is coming by default and even with the tax breakup, you will be getting that information here. Okay, so in this way, you can create uh, the templates here, which is uh, based on the template uh, selected or based on the atom tax rate, which you have selected in the particular atom, the rates would get fetched and the system will calculate the GST calculation. So in this way, this optimizes the complete GST process with the calculation and definitely then it will uh, reflect in your GST reports. So all these steps we need to follow here as what we have been going through here. Like you can see here the below steps, which we need to follow here. And yes, in this way, uh, I just complete this video. And if you have any queries, please contact at these numbers, which has been mentioned in the particular site. And thank you for watching here. Thank you.